plus of noise as we welcome to the stage the Queen of Comedy, the one and only Miss Levi G. <laughs> Feel like a woman. Woo! I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome down to the Palladium Bar. Hola! Hola! Como estas? Como estas? Me va a divertir with Libby Manners yesterday, Chip. What you just said? Sorry, none of you slappers have got a shack. Yes. <laughs> Because you can't speak bloody Spanish. Oh my god, fucking hell. Get a shame, you scruffy bastard. I thought the Taliban were in. <laughs> have you seen him with that bloody beard? Oh, you don't have to tell me you straight, look. I've worked it out. You've still got the last fanny stuck to your chin. Yes. <laughs> what do you mean, don't pick on him? He's bigger than me, eh? He don't frighten me, love. Manchester Council House, I am, yeah. I might talk like a puff, but I fight like a fucking lesbian. <laughs> No bugger frightens me, let me tell you. Not the bloody Taliban. And them other idiots, what they called the other idiots. ISIS, that's right, yeah. They don't like drag queens, do they? They take them to the top of hotels, you know, and push them off, yeah. Any message from you tonight, mate, I'll take you to the roof and fucking toss you off. <laughs> I 
I see now, look, he's staring at me tits, look. <laughs> but you have to make a tit wank. Be <laughs> a love, do it yourself. <laughs> we know pearl necklaces for me, thank you very much. Look, she's bloody growling at me now, look at her. You look at this man. Listen, love, if you hadn't met me tonight, you wouldn't be meeting Jeremy Kyle next week, would you? <laughs> now, come on, your Spanish was bloody dreadful. When in Rome, you must do as the Romans do, you know, because not all these Spaniards speak English. And you'd think after 50 years' occupation, they'd bloody well learn, wouldn't they? <laughs> so I'm going to teach you a little bit of Spanish. Repeat after me. Hola! Hola! Tu? Tu? Quieres? Quieres? Una, una, copa, copa, Levi, Levi. Oh, thank you, you've all just offered to buy me a drink. Yeah! <laughs> My word, if you don't mind me saying, what a bloody good-looking audience we've got in tonight, eh? Couple of ugly buckers over here. <laughs> if you look at these three at the front, it's like last at Summer Wines. <laughs> Bobby, Gompo and Clegg. Yes. <laughs> Mrs. Brown, how's your fecky boys? Yes. <laughs> You're not the only celebrities, you know. If you look over here, it's like Benny Dawn's answer to loose women. Yes. <laughs> and if you look over here, it's like a scene from Booking Benefit Street. Yes. <laughs> well, I hope you're going to be nice to me tonight, folks, because you know, I'm not a well woman. Aww. I got my period this morning. <laughs> Do you remember them, love? <laughs> <laughs> I've had a bloody awful day today. Listen, will I tell you? Coming down that motorway tonight, 90 miles an hour. <laughs> These blue lights started flashing. Woo, 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 woo. This sign come up, stop police. I put mine up, bullets, drag queen. <laughs> <laughs> this jabbery pulled me over, it did. Right, God, this looking bugger. In fact, love him for a double eel. <laughs> he gets out of his car and he comes round to mine. He put his head through my window. I wouldn't mind, mate, but it was shut at the time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but you'll never guess what. He recognised me, he did. He says, I know you, don't I? He says, you're one of them famous entertainers from Benny Dawn, aren't you? I said, that's right, yeah. He said, it's you, isn't it? Been on them TV programmes. I said, that's right, yeah. He said, fabulous show, Sticky Vicky. <laughs> I said, excuse me. I said, the tits might be false, but the bloody face is real. <laughs> he said, this is a very flash car for you, poorly paid drag queens, Levi. He says, what kind of car is it? I said, it's a pervertible. <laughs> <laughs> a bit like you, lot like I didn't bloody understand. <laughs> he said, me no understand, yo. I said, let me explain, yo. I said, the roof doesn't go down, but the bloody chauffeur does. <laughs> he says, how far are you going? I said, for that truncheon, I'll go all the way. Yes. <laughs> I get here to Palladium, and when I first moved to Benny Don, you know, 25 years ago, this was a play, I were only six at the time, watch it. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I nearly fucking believe that. Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> this was a poshest bar on the poshest street in Benidorm. By God, this street's gone to dogs and to end. Full of blood yuckers and prostitutes. Now, you know, if you look out for my sat over here tonight, <laughs> yes. And a couple of retired ones over here. <laughs> get through that front door tonight for prostitutes. <laughs> there was this one stood outside. I think her name was Lynn. Yes. <laughs> she stood out there. She's crying her heart out. <laughs> you know me, soft touch. I felt sorry for her, didn't I? I went up to her and I put my arms around her. I said, what are you crying for, cock? She said, yes. <laughs> Well, it was going to be one of them long nights tonight. <laughs> I've got a little idea. Why don't you all pretend you're in Benny Dawn on the night out, right? <laughs> and I'll pretend I've come here to make you laugh. <laughs> don't fancy me chances much tonight, eh? I wasn't born in Benny Dawn, love, but I've got a feeling I'm going to friggin' die there tonight. <laughs> Everyone keeps saying to me, hey, Levi, has it changed your life being on them TV programmes? Well, it has, you know. 
I've got my name in chalk and I'm working next door to a friggin' brothel. <laughs> she don't like me here next door, you know, madam Anna, she's called. <laughs> Fuck you, I'm a queen, I rank you. <laughs> she come out of there the other night, there she was, air extensions, false eyelashes, false nails, false tits, and she had the cheek to call me a fucking drag queen. <laughs> Got me own back then. Have you seen that side of your up next door? Come on in, boys. Fifty gorgeous girls. I've wrote underneath it, and a few fucking ugly ones too. <laughs> Sixty quid for half an hour next door. I do the bloody hour for a tenner. Yes. <laughs> and if you're skin, I'll lend you twenty. Yes. <laughs> Come on, let's try and warm you up a bit. Oggy, oggy, oggy. Oi, oi, oi. Oompa, oompa. It's a good job there's no kids and there's no little shits in it, see ya. I haven't got my glasses on tonight. I can't see no bugger till they're on top of me. Yes. <laughs> oh, I can't stand kids. We had one in here, you know, other night. A baby, 18 months old in a pram. This baby cried non-stop for 13 minutes. 13 minutes his baby cried for. This is to its father said, have you smacked that child? He says, I have not, no. I said, well, fuck it, smack it. <laughs> <laughs> That's your problem, isn't it? There's no discipline anymore. Everyone wants to be politically political. I can't even fucking say it. <laughs> <laughs> politically correct. <laughs> I won't put that part in tomorrow. We need something false teeth. <laughs> Someone said, them teeth, they're not your own. I believe I said, the fucking price I paid from the fucking art. <laughs> <laughs> no, when I was a kid, I mean, I got a backhander, leather belt, slipper, the cane. Didn't do me any harm, did it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not staying here to be fucking insulted. <laughs> Babies in France, you know. My biggest pet hate of all, it's got to be these bloody teenagers. I can't bloody stand them. You can't tell them out, can you, eh? What's Everything you tell them, you get the same answer, don't you? Whatever. <laughs> Covered, face look covered, whatever. <laughs> they think they know it all because they've got fucking Google, don't they, eh? <laughs> we had one in here last night, you know, 16 years old. She was sat where you were sat, eh? She went half as pretty as you look. 16 years old, sat there, face like thunder, giving me attitude. <laughs> I said, cheer up, love the calendar, might be fucking wrong. <laughs> she says, I don't want to be in here, innit? I said, innit? I says, where do you want to be? She says, I want to be line dancing, innit? I said, innit? Well, I used to be a butley dread coat, me, you know. Oh, so I got up and in the slosh. Well, you'll all be doing it, Kathy, Benny, Don, three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> hey, fellas, get yourselves out for all five. They have happy hour on Cougars. <laughs> <laughs> I did the military two step. I did the gate gone. <laughs> Not as well as my desk does it, but that's another story. <laughs> She says, not like that, you prick, proper line dancing. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to have to explain this to this poor old bugger over here. Right? <laughs> Look at him, confused, hot bloody cop. Yes. Don't understand about drugs, the older generation, you know. There were no drugs when you were a lad, was there? No. You were the only dope in the class, one. not yes. <laughs> Don't be laughing, it's not funny. When he was young, things had a different meaning, didn't they, love, eh? When you was a lad, Charlie was your uncle, wasn't he? Eh? Smack and crack was something you got off your dad for being naughty, wasn't he? When he was a kid, they only ever had a joint on a Sunday. Yes. And if you were gay, you were fucking happy. Because <laughs> these youngers bleeding, laughing at you, you cheeky get, eh? Oh, you think you're clever, don't you? Because you can work your computers, your iPads and your iPhones. I bet you can't work a fucking washing machine, can you? No. 
plea can't work an iPhone, can you, love? Hey? No. When you was a lad, that were a fucking selfie, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Look at him, he probably still fucking is. Yes. <laughs> this one here, he's looking frightened to death, this poor bugger. Hey? Just goes to show you can't believe what you read in the bloody papers, don't you? Hey? That's just living proof Shanrad Dingle is not fucking dead. <laughs> Move this prop out the way that the DJ should have fucking done before, wanker. Yes. What's frightening you, mate? Is it me in this dress? Or is it these curtains behind me? Eh? <laughs> Not belong to you going through a pair of curtains like that yourself, <laughs> These lot are already in black fucking waiting. Yes. <laughs> is this your husband, is it, love? Yeah. Second time round. No! That's strange, it wouldn't have been my fucking first choice. <laughs> Look at him in bloody Reebok trainers at his age, eh? Do you think you're going to live long enough to get your money's worth? <laughs> Where did you meet him, love, at the travel agent? Was he in the last resort? <laughs> How long have you been together? Forty-seven years. Oh my goodness! Woo! Clutching in the medal. What are you clapping for? <laughs> that makes him a paedophile. Yes. <laughs> there were none of them dirty swines when I was a kid, eh? I had to buy my own bloody sweets. I did. Yes. <laughs> Jim didn't bloody fix it for me. Yes. What's going on with all them dirty guests back home? At this rate, there's going to be no fucker left in Coronation Street. Yes. Hayley was the last man standing. Yes. <laughs> every time you turn telly on, isn't it? Eh? There's never any good news anymore, is he? Eh? Oh, it's always bloody Syria and I left. How many fucking more people are still alive there? Fucking up. It's all doom, gloom, and misery. I've had the news on tonight after songs of praise because I'm a good church girl, eh? I'm <laughs> On the news tonight, that Wonga.com's gone bankrupt today for £23 million, you know, yeah? Apparently they've already tenor off themselves by mistake. <laughs> In other news today, they've done a, a, a survey back home to see if we are happy with the outcome of the referendum. 31% of people said yes, we are very happy to be leaving Europe. The other 69% of people said, sorry, we know fucking speaking English. <laughs> <laughs> Theresa May has vowed to make claiming benefits much harder this year. Yes. She's going to make all the application forms in fucking English. Yes. <laughs> You know you agree with me, hey, fucker. Oh, I don't sit on the politically correct fence, me. I just say what I fucking think, me, yeah? I'm not a bit racist, it's all political with me. Oh, fucking hell, where she come from? Hey! I love you, all right? Oh, don't be embarrassed, love, I've been in prime art myself. Yes. Oh. oh, I've never bought anything, but I love to unfold things just to fuck them off. Yes. <laughs> I hope you haven't bought her half a life. You know half a life is a right fucking rip-off in here. Buy a fucking pint and share it between two of you and a quarter of fucking price, all right? I'm not in fucking and I'll get a right bollocking for telling you that, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> no, but there isn't any good news anymore. I mean, I'm so glad it was a new year because last year, every time you turned telly up, it was another celebrity death, wasn't it? It got to the point there were only me and Sticky Nicky left. Yes. <laughs> And if she has another birthday, she'd be pulling out a telegram from the Queen. <laughs> it's not funny, is it? Hey, one minute they're on the TV, the next minute, wham, the fucking gone. Yes. Oh God! I only said wham, the fucking gone. What's up here? Is you fucking relating it to some fucker else, mate? Yeah. No, I mean, come on. Last year, six months on the radio, every other song it was bloody Prince one day. Two weeks before Christmas, oh, well, I'm all these Christmas carols, eh? No, fucking status quo, every other fucking song, eh? All Christmas and New Year, George Michael, last Christmas, well, they were fucking right, wasn't it, eh? Please, God, don't take fucking Justin Bieber. Yes. <laughs> Woo! It was such a 
major badger wants to usher. We start in January with David Bowie, 69, God bless his soul, eh? Two days later, we lost Alan Rittman, 69, God bless his soul, eh? Uh, I've got Donald Trump down for a fucking Yankee, eh? <laughs> Oh, he's got him now, if he comes president on Friday, get over it. I just don't. Oh, you're a Trump fan, are you? You're obviously from fucking Sunderland then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you youngins, blame him. Okay, these pay. Don't explain me jokes, love. Let him buy the DVD. All right, yeah. I'm not being funny, but you're louder than me, and I've got a fucking microphone. Yes. <laughs> See, all oh, you lot blaming these pensioners for the Brit exit. Don't blame the pensioners, blame these fucking Mackens over here. Yes. <laughs> oh, they do blame you though, don't they? These youngers saying you've ruined their future voting for Brit exit. This is the same idiots running around looking for fucking boat. Come on. <laughs> and what I don't get is grown men playing Pokemon to you girls, eh? Do you think? Oh, no. How the bloody hell are they going to find Pokemon if they can't find a freaking clitoris? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I know when Donald Trump gets in, I hope he sticks to his word and builds that wall right round the freaking Kardashians so we don't have to hear of him again. <laughs> He's been on news tonight, Donald Trump. I am a friend of the gays. <laughs> Clearly not. If he had gay friends, he'd sort that fucking haircut out, wouldn't he? <laughs> but it says one thing about the Americans, do not it? They're not prejudiced, are they, eh? First, you've had a black president, at this rate, they're going to get a fucking orange one. <laughs> Just goes to show, love, orange is a new black. Yes. I'm not going to watch the news anymore. It's depressing me. I'm going to stick to the adverts. Because if we're honest, friends together, we're a bit too old for all this online shopping, aren't we? I tried it on Black Friday, you know. Oh, I got a right nasty email off that screw fix. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny, apparently. It's not a fucking dating site. <laughs> I get confused with some of these adverts, me. I mean, do you think we're going to live long enough to see the end of that sale at DF fucking S? Hotman <laughs> <laughs> claim they can give a whole village water for a month for three pound. I wish they owned the fucking village I lived in. Yes. <laughs> There's another one, McDonald's. I saved up to go to McDonald's. It's not even a fucking farm. Yes. <laughs> Selfridges don't bother going to Selfridges because they don't sell bloody fridges. Yes. <laughs> Which makes me wonder why you women are always in bloody peacocks. <laughs> <laughs> and some of these adverts now, they're getting a bit bloody cheeky, aren't they? Eh? They're not always begging for money, aren't they? Eh? And it's some that we haven't got, is it? Well, I think you might have a couple of quid, love. <laughs> you must have, you've spent fuck all on clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that new advert just come out? <laughs> new Year's relief plan. Can you spare 20 pound a week? Just 20 pound a week. <laughs> Only 20 pound a week. To help these poor people who live in Africa, who have to leave their tents and walk 20 miles every day to the nearest river for fresh water. Help us find a solution. Move the tent closer to the fucking river. <laughs> In Manchester we call that common sense. <laughs> you see what they're playing on Mr Meldrew? They're playing on you poor bloody pensioners, aren't they? Eh? You're supposed to sit there thinking, who oh, better? I've 20 pound in my pension, but that Tory government haven't robbed off me yet. Let's hope they don't find out about your spare bedroom, love. Yes. If they do, put a burger on, pretend you're Muslim and say it's a fucking prayer room. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh,
don't get me wrong, no, no, I'm not a racist, no. I own a coloured television, I do. <laughs> And just to prove I'm not a racist, me and my mate, Dave Chambers, we're going on that Dragon's Den next year, you know, yeah. Oh, we've invented an exploding prayer mat. <laughs> you might well laugh, love you, watch the profits go through the fucking ceiling. <laughs> Are you supposed to sit there thinking, oh, better? 20 miles there to that river every day for French walls to bed there. 20 miles back on that river every day with the French walls to bed there. Oh, it will take them all day and all night. Did you not see the Olympics, love? There and back, six fucking minutes. Yes. <laughs> hey, didn't we do well? Great Britain at the Olympics, eh? 67 medals. Much better than England did at bloody football, eh? <laughs> England at European Cup. Oh, my God, how dreadful was we? Eh? The only country in the world, England, to leave Europe twice in one fucking week. <laughs> Scotland are quite happy because Andy Murray's been named world number one tennis player, aren't he? Yeah, yeah. Isn't he funny? When he wins, he's Scottish. <laughs> when he loses, he's fucking British. Yes. <laughs> uh, talking about the Olympics, did anyone see the Paralympics? That's the disabled Olympics for you young thick ones. Yes. No, what an inspiration these people are, aren't they disabled, eh? They can swim faster than I can swim. They can jump higher than I can jump. They can run faster than I can run. And they still get part nearer to myself than I can get fucking burnt. Yeah. <laughs> 147 medals he brought home, you know. Oh, I was so proud of proud. I was crying my heart out, yeah. We come second in the whole wide world. We beat them cheating Russian swines up your ass, Putin. Yes. <laughs> we only got beat by the Chinese, mate, yeah. They were better at us at swimming. They've come a long way since Mark and Bay. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Oh, my God. I have absolutely no... I have absolutely no confidence. Talking about the Olympics, you know, I bought my desk some of them Olympic condoms, you know, for a Christmas present. I wrapped them up and I gave him them on Christmas Day. He opened them. Oh, he went half disappointed. He says, hey, Levi! Why have you bought me silver Olympic condoms and not gold? I said I want you to come second for a change. He <laughs> <laughs> wants impressed. Hey Levi, how come I never hear you scream when you're orgasm? I said, because you're never fucking there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he says you've got a fast mouth on you. How come in the five years we dated before we got married, I never once heard you fart? Since we've got married, you never stopped. I said I never had an arsehole till I got married. <laughs> <laughs> My third husband, didn't you know? I've had a tragic love life, I have, you know. Aww. My first two husbands died. <laughs> this bastard won't. Yes. <laughs> My first husband, he died eating poisonous mushrooms. My second husband, that was a tragedy. He died with hammer through his head. <laughs> he wouldn't eat the fucking mushrooms. Yes. <laughs> hey, am I have had a sad love life, but you won't catch me singing about it, will you? Chuffing Ella's like they don't call me freaking Adele, do they, eh? <laughs> What's up with Adele? The best voice in the UK, I adore. But she's always singing about an ex-boyfriend, ain't she? Never mind, I can find someone like you. <laughs> Just an app, love, it's just an app. You can get over me. Right. <laughs> Come on, girls, we've all had us arse broke at one point or another, haven't we? Let's be honest, eh? Would you seriously write a love song like that about your ex lover? No. Would you chuff in at this, like? It'd be more like, he's dead, he's dead, the fat past is dead, and I'll be at the co op to cash the fucking check. Yes! <laughs> Or is it just me being bitter? <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> he got the money, but I got the dignity. Fuck him. Yes. No, but you see, it's not funny, love, because I made exactly the same mistake you did. I married a man much fucking older than myself. Yes. <laughs> Going through the male menopause. Doctors have put me on HRT. Husband replacement therapy. Yes. <laughs> I am going through the change at the moment. Do you remember the change, my love? 
<laughs> you do? Oh, you do? Oh, I'm going to say you'd have to have a fucking good memory. Yes. <laughs> it's not funny, is it, girls, to change. One minute you're off, the next minute you're cold. One minute you're laughing, the next minute you're crying. <laughs> and you get ever so forgetful, don't you? I'm stood here now thinking what are all these bloody strangers doing in my bedroom? <laughs> they were only him invited. <laughs> I was telling my gynecologist last week, I said, Doctor, it's awful. I get halfway up the stairs and the camera going up and I'm coming down. <laughs> it's not funny, love, I live in a fucking bungalow. <laughs> <laughs> I said, but doctor, the good Lord is looking after me. He says, what do you mean, Levi? I said, well, when I get up in the middle of the night for a wee wee, the good Lord, he turns the light off for me. <laughs> when I go back to bed, the good Lord, he turns the light off again. He says, for God's sake, Levi, you're pissing in the fridge. <laughs> I always wondered why my salad was so tasty. Oh. <laughs> what do you mean, oh? I fucking ate it, you didn't. <laughs> Oh, don't be feeling sorry for him, love, eh? <laughs> oh, you want a fucking husband exchange? Come on, bring it on, love, yeah? Even if he's crappy, Ben, I could spend all night colouring in them twatoos. Yes. <laughs> he spent all day at the hairdressers in, went for our lights, come back with fucking floodlights. Yes. <laughs> oh, I know you've seen the wedding on telly, love. You were millions of others, but you didn't see what happened when we got back off the honeymoon. You'll have to wait for next week to see that, won't you? <laughs> We gets back to hotel, right? We gets in that bedroom and he took his trousers off and he threw them at me. He says, put them on, Levi. I oh, was petrified. I put his trousers on and he starts shouting at me. He says, make sure that's the first and the last time you wear the trousers in this marriage. Well, I took my knickers off and threw them at him. I says, put them on, Des. He says, I'll never get in them. I says, too fucking right, you won't let me change your attitude. <laughs> you see, the older he's getting, the more he's turned into his mother. And she's never like me, you know. Oh, Mrs. Doubtfire, how are you, love? All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my dragon law, she's never given me a chance, you know. Guess what she calls me? She calls me Council House Kate. I call her Mrs. Bucket. She turned up here last year showing off and I can't stand bleeding show off to me. Ooh, she says, do you know, Levi, should we bought our council house? I said, oh, I says, get you. I said, my mother sold us. She said, really? I said, really? Council went fucking mad. <laughs> Hey, we might have been poor, but we were shoplifters! Hey! You want love? If you want to be part of my show, come to fucking rehearsals. Yes. Don't be jealous because I'm more of a woman than she'll ever be. I'm more of a man than she'll ever fucking at. Yes. No, we were that poor when I were a lad, you know. If I didn't wake up on Christmas Day with a hard on, I had fuck all to play with. Yes. <laughs> He's just shit himself. He's just worked out I'm not a woman. Yes. <laughs> it was that bad with my dragging low. When we were getting married last year, I thought, she don't like me. I don't like her. I never invited her to wedding. Wedding day turns up, and so did she. Surprise! Thought she'd have a bigger dress than me. Fuck off. <laughs> she oh, Lee, she says, I hope you don't mind me gay crushing your wedding. Should I have to come and see my youngest son get married, you know? His papi and I have been married now together 55 years. I said, really? That's nice. <laughs> she said, oh, yes, Lee, for my anniversary, you know. My husband's just bought me a six-bedroom villa with a heated swimming pool. I said, really? That's nice. She said, oh, yes, but Levi, we're married just 20 years, you know. My husband, he took me on a round-the-world cruise. I said, really? That's nice. She said, oh, yes, but Levi, on the day we got married, you know, my husband bought me the top-of-the-range Mercedes-Benz. I said, really? That's nice. She said, tell me, Levi, what did Desmond buy for your wedding day present for you? I said, he bought me elocution lessons. She says, I don't mean to be rude, Levi. She said, but they obviously haven't worked, have they? 
I said, oh, they have. I used to say bollocks, but now I say, that's nice. <laughs> for the clap. <laughs> just got out the last dose. <laughs> Can you imagine how embarrassing that was? Let's go to that English speaking hospital, the old town. Clinical, de Benito. 3,000 patients in this hospital. Over loudspeaker tannoid. Leave I refine to clap clinic number one, please. <laughs> I nearly died when I saw him coming out the same place. <laughs> Just couldn't believe anyone had shagged him to give it him. Yes. <laughs> I went in, doctor examined me. I said, oh, Levi, I dread to tell you, you've got the clap. <gasps> I said, I must have got it off the toilet seat. He said, well, you must have jumped in it, it's in your mouth. <laughs> See how clever that was, mate? Not a swear word in that joke, you know. I'm practising for winter, February. Have you been here in February, mate? <laughs> We get what you call from 1830. No, they're not aged 1830. They were born in fucking 1830. <laughs> I came in here last Valentine's night, I swear to God. There were that many bald heads in here, I thought we were in a fucking ping pong factory. <laughs> if you're coming back Valentine's night to surprise me, you'll need double life insurance. This February just gone last year, you know. 27 people run over, killed dead in many times. Oh no, look, not on the roads by cars, by fat bastards in electric scooters. show bar, ladies and gentlemen. I've made them put a step outside to stop the fat bastards getting in. Yes. So which way have you come in? Yes. I know what's happened. You've seen them blue signs outside and thought it were fucking Greg's, didn't you? Hey. Hey, you're proper lovely oh tonight, aren't you, Ray? Well, I think we might start speeding things up a bit now. Let's find out who we've got in first. Anybody in tonight from Wales? Yes. Yaki Ja, Wales, Yaki Ja. We have your Queen View later on in the show. Dame Shirley Bassey, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Anybody in tonight from Scotland? Yes. Oh, hi, the new John McEwan, can you hear? Oh, <laughs> Scotland, listen. If you do decide to go independent, and it's your own business now you've got Jimmy Cranky in control. <laughs> I'm sure she's fucking Hitler's love child, that Nicola Sturgeon. <laughs> if you do decide to go independent, it's your own business. Will you do us English people a favour, will you? Take that book in the lane, Kelly, with you. <laughs> <laughs> Who else have we got in tonight? Anybody in tonight from Ireland? Top of the morning to you, top of the morning. Anybody in tonight from Northern Ireland? Yeah. You're fucking outnumbered, you better fucking behave. Yes. <laughs> anybody in tonight from England? Yes. And anybody we haven't mentioned? Yes. Spain. Spain? Well, fuck up and mind your own club. This is a British one. Yes. <laughs> oh, we don't want to be encouraging the foreigners in here. <laughs> We've been up with the fuckers back home, haven't we? <laughs> hey, Mr. Meldrum, if you lose your passport in Benny John, don't panic, love. You get yourself to Cali and tell them you're a teenager from Syria and they'll let you back in. <laughs> <laughs> and we're watching a programme on telly all the night. You're like, hey, you're all right. I'm not ignoring you, but the boss has just spent 30 grand designing this place. And a new fucking stage with no fucking can see me, you know. There's a fucking television here, but we've got no fucking sky, you know what I'm saying? 
So I'm not ignoring you, girls, but don't worry, because in a bit I'll be doing a bit on there so you can have a little look, all right, yeah? So, I was watching this programme on tell it other night. It was secret filming at Passport Control in Dover. It's a legal immigrant who walked through Passport Control at Dover. Never even shown his passport. He gets into Great Britain. He says, yippee, land of the living, land of the free, let the UK tax pay and I'll keep me. <laughs> well, the next thing you know, poof, this magic fairy godmother appeared. She says, I'm your fairy godmother. I'm here to grant you three wishes. What would you like? He says, well, he says, I've been stuck in the back of that truck for three long days. He says, I'm starving, hungry, I've had nothing to eat. Poof, this great big banquet appeared. He says, oh, he says, I'm going to love living in Great Britain. She said, now it's time for your second wish. What would you want? He says, well, I'm coming with no money, no roof over my head, no bed to sleep in, and the usual slappers from Sunderland are in Benny Dahl tonight. What do you mean, man? <laughs> Poof! This great big hotel up here. He says, oh, he says, I'm going to bloody love living in Great Britain. It's like we didn't watch it. She said, now it's time for your third and final wish. What would you like? He says, I want to be British! Poof! The fucking lot disappeared. <laughs> he says, I don't understand what's happened. She says, you're British, now you're entitled to fuck all. Yes. <laughs> anyway, we're going to start this show, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to take photos, I'm quite happy for you to do so, but don't block these pillars and stand in front of people because they've sat all night as well to see the show, folks. So, but you can take them from where you sat as long as you're not blocking people's view. The only thing I ask while I'm on stage, folks, because the boss has just spent 30 grand on this new stage and this television. <laughs> 30 grand and they couldn't even make it fucking straight. Yes. <laughs> But folks, it's not quite big enough for me to do my whole show on there because this erection's rather small for what I like, ladies and gentlemen. So, <laughs> so, <it's a> bastard. <laughs> yes. so sometimes I work up here and sometimes I work down there, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, I wouldn't like to injure any of you. So please, if you're going to Toronto, use that alleyway provider and go around the sides. Because um, if you do cut across the dance floor, I will go into a spin, a high kick, kick you in the bollocks and make it look like a fucking accident. <laughs> We've been told not to do it, so there's no blame, there's no fucking claim, yes. And if trouble starts, I'm with this big fucker over here. Yeah. What's your name? Austin. Austin. Oh, go on, I've got the powers. Yeah. <laughs> How old are you, Austin? Oh, don't worry, love, 43, I'm going to 45, fucking <laughs> Well, I'm not 45 yet, not till Saturday yet. What do you do for a living, Austin? HTV driver. You're, a, you're an HTV driver. Would you like to ride me home tonight? Would you? Have yeah. <laughs> you got plenty of money, Austin? No. Don't worry, love, you can always swipe your credit card. Yes. <laughs> Who's your favourite female artist, Austin? You don't have one? He doesn't lie with me. <laughs> Come on, Austin, there must be one in your bank bank. Come on. Kylie oh, Minogue, Cheryl Cole, Beyonce. I'm a single lady, I'm a single lady. Oh, 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 oh. If you like it, if you like it, put your ring on it. Yeah. <laughs> it's only an act, love. I'm not really a slut, honestly. I'm sorry. I just pretend I'm gay. It's great, bro, you know, you know what I mean? <laughs> Fucking hell, look at the tits on her, what am I going to do? It's alright, because later on when he goes looking for me in Cafe Benny Don, I'll know what he looks like, he won't have a fucking clue on Ali. Like. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name, darling? Pam. Pam and Austin, have you been married a long time? Seven years? Oh, well it's time you got fucking itched, didn't it, Austin, eh? Yeah. Oh, good lovely, are they? Because I don't work with Suji, ladies and gentlemen. I only come on stage and play with what I've got, but I think they've been great sports. Give them a nice round of applause. Austin, kiss a goodbye, and I'll meet you in the dressing room. Yes. <laughs> and you can come of your own free will, or I can press that button to the trap door, and you'll have to wait till I finish the fucking show, mate. Yes. <laughs> Folks, give me 30 seconds, and I'll be back. We've missed time, Austin. Oh, Austin, thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.